What's going on, y'all? It's JD Pakel. Today on CFB with JD, we're going to talk it and then shock it. Anthony Richardson in Florida Spring Game. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel. Everything you know, everything you love about college football, it happens here. It happens on a nearly daily basis. Armstrong Sims, Jet McKenzie, doing the real heavy lifting behind this operation. You can help drive the show at my Twitter page, at JD Pakel. So we got to see AR-15, as he is fondly referred to on this show and by a lot of other Florida faithful, in the Florida spring game. And to put it simply, the dude balled. Like, the dude just had himself a day, played through the third quarter, and there was a couple of things that I was really, really pleased with by Anthony Richardson. We did a chalk talk on him already. We're going to break down some of the things that we like that he did in the spring game, we're not going to get too nitpicky in the spring game because ultimately all it is on a coach's schedule is practice 15. So we're not going to tweak too much on the things that we don't love about his performance. But ultimately, there's not a lot to dislike. Like I said, the guy played really, really well. One of the first things I loved, he was the leader of that football team. The storyline going into the spring was up uh, Ohio State transfer, Jack Miller. It's going to be a derby. He's going to get in there. They're going to mix it up. A new head coach, even playing field. Anthony Richardson coming off a, a knee injury just says, that's fine. That's fine. I'll pull up to spring. I'll wear this kind of weird looking Axion helmet. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And ball out. It was 18 of 24, really efficient with the football. And you could tell from watching that game, and this is not a knock on Jack Miller. Jack Miller didn't play phenomenal. And that's a whole other video in itself, but... Anthony Richardson was the guy. And it's funny to say that because you can't really quantify that. You can't really put that on the tape and say he's the guy. Look at this play. Guys just gravitated towards Anthony Richardson. Guys were feeding off of his energy. And it felt like the tempo that AR-15 was at was how the rest of his offense and the rest of his teammates were playing at. He wasn't showing panic. They're not panicking. He's playing smooth. They're playing smooth. Business as usual. Looked very in control. Looked very poised. And he played within himself. Something that we knocked him for quite a bit in our last Chalk Talk. Said, hey, lots of talent. Lots of ability. All the physical tools you could want. Needs to grow as a quarterback. And we're going to get to the film here in a second. But you're going to see he makes a lot of good decisions. He's not forcing the football into windows. He's playing within himself. And I think this offense, we did a chalk talk on that as well. So go check that out. This offense is going to make the picture increasingly more clear for AR-15. He's not going to have to process a super complex defense because of what they do with shifts and motions. He's going to be able to sit back in the pocket, go through his reads, Make a good decision. That's still on him, but he's going to be able to have a much more digestible picture of that defense. Enough with this talking. Let's get to the chalk. Anthony Richardson did a lot of things well for Florida in the spring football game, the biggest of which to me was his development as a passer. We talked about it on previous chalk talks. A lot of ability, but doesn't always know where to go with the football. And when he does, sometimes he forces it into windows, trusts his arm too much, tries to do too much. Not the case here. We got a little four verts concept. He's going deep. He's going to kind of have a bender route. He's going deep. He's got a little bender route. So what you want to do here is essentially read the grass. You want to find the soft spot in the zone. But he's able to go first, second to third read and find the open man. Great job of progressing through his reads and finding the open man. So right here, we feel like he's covered, great. We're man up. Right here, we got him man as well. Sort of, I, I say man, they're sort of in like a, a zone man, if you will, because he's gonna try and essentially play both these guys. Bottom line, no go over here on your first two reads. He's gonna run through and find it just behind the linebacker and does a great job tempoing down. Also notice his eyes. We're here, great, looking here. You can even tell by his vision. Hitches up on time. Goes to his third receiver, just past this linebacker, puts it on his man. Beautiful. I love this football as well. Doesn't throw him upfield. If he leaded him, excuse me, if he led him upfield, he would have got him killed or got an interception. Instead, throws it back shoulder, makes him slow down a little bit, tempos down on the same page. First down, good guys. I love the maturity and I love the progression there. 
from Anthony Richardson. Now he's also picked this offense up really quick, decisive with the football. Right here, we got an RPO scheme. We're reading these backers. If they come up, we're gonna pull it and throw a slant route. If they wanna sit back here and not declare, give it to our running back, let's get yards. If we wanna try and just play back right here, we can throw our bubble route. What happens at the snap? He comes up and plays our bubble route, so that's taken away. Watch the linebackers, because that's what we're on. Perfect, okay, so he triggers. He's gonna trigger, great, we're off this. Now we're to the linebackers. Boom, they wanna come up. All right, well, it's a whole lot of space behind them. Deliver a strike, boom, in stride. You wanna play spring football kind of tackle, it's not whiz anymore, buddy. Get in the end zone. Absolutely love it. The maturity, the decisiveness from Anthony Richardson tells me a lot about how hard he has worked in the film room to get better this spring. And now this was the play that honestly made me the most pleased with Anthony Richardson. We talked about it, forcing the ball plays, he doesn't need to force it, trusting his arm too much. He's got a lot of ability with his legs. He is the defense's worst nightmare because if they wanna play good coverage, well, that's just the beginning of their job. They then have to go tackle a 6'3", 230, 240 pound man who's running with the football. A lot of y'all last video let me know that he's 230, 240 pounds. I appreciate that. So look at right here. We're covered right here. We're covered right here. We're covered right here, even though he's working to get open. We're covered right here. So at this point, everybody is covered for number 15. So what do you do? Well, you could throw it away. But again, when you're as athletic and as much of a physical beast as Anthony Richardson, you run with the football. That's what he does. He says, get out of town. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get downhill. Maybe he tackles him. Maybe he doesn't. Probably not for my money, but that is the extra element you have to account for for Anthony Richardson. And to me, for Florida's offense, it all depends on what he can do and how patient he wants to be with the football. He wants to force it into coverage, wants to try and do too much. There's going to be turnovers. The offense is going to sputter. He wants to take what the defense gives him. He wants to play within himself, within the system, and take off and make them pay. They're going to be scoring a whole lot of points. You can get used to this picture, number 15, in the end zone. That's it for us here on CFB with JD. Appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at JD Pacal, a super easy medium for me to hear from you and do more of what you want on the channel. We're gonna keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.